Thank you so much again for visiting Optimization Tutor. And today you're going to enjoy a nice tutorial on a pretty advanced topic. Uh, we like to call it social media customer service. That's this right here. So let's go ahead and check out that article. Now, there's some pretty advanced information in this, and most of it revolves around Google Alerts. And so you're going to want to read this very carefully. And we have screenshots, examples, a lot of cool things in this article. So if you're the type of person like me who just likes to watch videos, you're going to miss out probably on some cool stuff by not reading it thoroughly. Um, but in case you are like me, I'm just going to skip to the meat and potatoes in the video and show you how it's done. So go over to google.com slash uh, alerts and type in quote coffee was horrible quote Starbucks and you're going to see here oh yeah and uh, also change the type to real time and the volume to all results and then click preview and you're going to see over here conversations and how long ago they were when people were saying coffee was horrible in some way related to the word Starbucks you can see these people right here are obviously not Starbucks fans. They think that Starbucks coffee was horrible. Now, Starbucks could easily have their social media guru or whoever they, they think knows what they're doing and set up some cool Google alerts so they can be alerted when somebody says something bad or negative about their brand, about their company, and do something about it. They can go and tweet with these people and offer them a discount, give them a free coupon, you know, apologize, you know, anything. Just talking with them is going to make a huge difference and they're probably going to rave about your brand because you have such awesome digital customer service. You can't just be friendly to people's face when they walk in and do your best to give them service. You have to actually be listening to the web in order to figure out what's going on. Now, this is a pretty basic query. Um, you can get really advanced with this and it's important that you do because it's really easy to get overwhelmed with Google Alerts. Like if you set this to as it happens, oh, you're going to get tons of emails. Always set this to once a day and make sure that your query is long enough and specific enough that you don't get emails about stuff you're not interested in or doesn't apply to what you're doing. And to skip to the point, we've created this really long one just to show as an example. So here we have Starbucks. And it's in quotes, so we definitely want the word Starbucks in the result. And we want it related to reviews. But this is a cool thing you can do too. You can do bad service, eh, or terrible service, or, and create a bunch of queries that customers might be saying about your brand. So you can see I found a whole bunch of here. Tasted disgusting, terrible coffee, all these different things. And the or is the opposite of and. Like if you have just a space in between words that you're searching for, Google assumes you mean this and this, and you get different results. But if you do this or this or this or this or this, then it creates a large variety of, of possibilities um, all related to what you're looking for. And here's some cool things. I noticed that when we did this, we came up with a lot of irrelevant results. So we looked at the Google Alerts and we saw that tons of them were news articles. Well, we don't care about news articles because we're trying to do customer service here. So Google allows us to do this thing called in URL, the word news. But if you put a minus sign in front of it, it means in the URL of the, of the site or the, re, or the listing, we don't want to see the word news. And then again, we don't want to see the word category either because that's not helpful. Uh, wiki, we don't want wikis and definitions and we definitely don't want information from Starbucks. And that's what this is. Site colon and then a domain name. That means you either want stuff just from that domain name or you want minus, which means results not from Starbucks. So you can see here there's tons of real life um, examples of people complaining about Starbucks. There's even a video about how 
Starbucks has horrible service. I mean, how much does it really cost to pay somebody to go and talk to all these people and give them stuff and just ba do basic customer service? This is the thing. Nobody's really doing this. This is something that's new. Businesses don't understand that you can actually listen to the web and, un and see where the conversations are going and be alerted by Google. This doesn't just apply to customer service though either. This can apply to lead generation. It can apply to all types of stuff. Like um, we have ones for I need to hire an SEO consultant. And then we get alerts for people who are saying that on Twitter or on Facebook and we're able to jump in there and say hey how, how you doing? Maybe we can help. We can offer you something, some free tips just to see just to show you that you know with our stuff you make money and once you've made money then it's only a decision of reinvesting with us or not and that's pretty much a no-brainer after you, we show you how to make money online so again I strongly advise you to read this article very carefully actually type in all these examples I hate Starbucks or specifying a location like maybe you want to know what's going on in your specific location like Spokane and um, Lead you, we lead you through every single step you need to know, explain the minuses, the sites, the ors, the quotes, all the things that you need to know to make the super advanced, um, super long search queries to create awesome Google alerts that don't clog up your inbox and that you actually want to know what's going on on the web and you appreciate getting that information so you can actually do something and improve your customer service experience. So again, Thank you so much for visiting Optimization Tutor and we hope that you read this article very carefully and actually get something out of it, put it to use in your business and see that good customer service now is online. It's a prerequisite. It's uh it's mandatory, you know, kind of you know, get over it basically, uh, not to, to not to be rude, but hey, Pay attention to what's going on in the web. That's what you need to do. And you need to listen to your customers and you need to do something about it when they're not happy or you're going to be one of the businesses that's broke or going out of business all over the country. Pay attention to technology. Use it to your advantage. That's our best recommendation. So thank you so much again and we hope you have a great day.